Oh, these are just uh, trailers. Okay. This is nice. What y'all think about this game? This is decent enough. And these are uh, Unreal 5 Souls-like games. In 23 or 24 year. Looks good. I say that for sure. Oh shit. All right, let's see the combat. What's gonna happen? He's got no hilt on his sword. Okay. It's a lot, it's a lot like Sekiro. Yeah, that's the first thing you think of, yeah. Okay. What? Why is his health going down? He's not even getting hit. What do y'all think about this? This looks okay. So like a sword fighting game? Yeah. Oh, now he's getting his ass beat. Is this decent? Yeah, it's all right. This is something I might play. Yeah. I wonder if it's gonna have like a uh, English. Cause like I, I don't want to have to try and play a game in uh in like one of these languages. I don't, I don't know what the fuck you're saying. Repetitive? Yeah, it does. It, it does feel a bit repetitive. Okay. I mean the graphics look fucking badass. The subtitles, yeah, but for like the menus and shit, you know. Damn. Okay. It's on the mask. Uh-oh. Oh, now he becomes the same guy. That's interesting. I like that. This is cool. I, I would say, like, it depends on, like, what the scope of that is. When does this come out? Uh-huh. Okay. Shit's fucked up. This is the same game, by the way. It's all the same game. Seems like they put a lot of work into this. This looks good. I just, what the fuck? I always wonder, like, I feel like these games, like, one of these, it, it, it's always, that could be really fucking cool. Like, I just, I wonder how much of that is actual gameplay and how much of that is pretty much just like, Move forward, and that's oh, this is damn, this shit's cool. What the fuck? Should I do that? Damn, this shit's fucking bad. At what the fuck? I'm gonna be honest, like, okay, okay. If the gameplay is like this, that would be really cool. God damn, that's fucking badass. I like that. What's this one called? Bleak Faith. See, I, I like this especially because I look at this dude. He's got a claymore. He's got two other swords on top of that. This dude's got three swords. Oh no, never mind. He's also got a dagger too. This guy's equipped. 
And a shield. What's this? It's the boss. All right, let's see the boss. Oh, don't cut it at, the, at that point. Come on. It's Darth Sidious. Okay. I'm very interested in this game so far. I like this a lot. This is looking great. Very cool. Okay, so you can roll around. Wait, how did that not hit him? Okay. The fuck's he doing? It's bad. Combat doesn't look great. This game better not be bad. This game looks really cool. You better not make this shit bad. This looks fucking badass. This it looks too cool to be bad. Come on. What is that, like shit rain? Oh my god. I would not shot him. That's cool. Oh, you can freeze him and break the ice? That's cool. No way. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's probably why it, it, they probably cut it right there because like the character dies by doing that. But like, it's just like the 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 idea of being able to do that sounds cool, you know? Let's see some combat against the boss. Okay. Very cool. Gameplay. Okay. Okay, okay. This is not too bad, alright. Uh, yeah, this is... Okay. Group FPS. Let's get a better PC. I hope you can zoom out. It seems that it's a little bit too up close. So slow. I mean, Dark Souls 1 is slow. I wouldn't really write that one off just because of that. Damn. Very cool. Very cool. I, I felt like the uh, the other weapons didn't really feel that good. Like the great sword, where it can actually like, cut their arms off and shit. That looks really cool. I like that a lot. Let me read this real quick. American Games looks like Microsoft. Discard a text-based medieval mist that comes on floppy disk. All these games coming out of Asia are juiced. Then back to America for a 2D pixel game that can run on a toaster. What the hell is going on? Well, it, it, it's like, I mean, who cares how good a game looks if it's bad? You know what I mean? Like, who gives a fuck? Like, if it's a bad game and it doesn't play well, it doesn't matter, like, what the setting for the game is or how cool it looks. You're still not going to want to play it. So it's like, this just doesn't, like, the game, like, some of that gameplay was not ideal. You know what I mean? Okay, let's see this. What's this one called? Night Crows. Oh, yeah! We watched this one. Yeah, this is like an MMO. This is what they use back in the Crusades. Giant, uh, 150 pound solid iron greatswords. Yep. Like, the aesthetic for this is fucking insane. They said this is in the game, too. Neo? No, I hadn't. I mean, it looks fucking badass. I love it. I just hope the actual game looks like this. But, like, watch. They show a little bit of gameplay. I mean, no, the, the world's incredible. Like, guys only want one thing, and it's fucking disgusting. You know? Like, that's a, a fucking awesome. This is badass. 
We run. No, it's part of a bunch of other trailers. But we have seen this one before. Yeah. Nothing says crusades like a girl dual wielding katanas. Flying looks cool too. Here's the thing. This is an MMO, like obviously I'm gonna play this whenever it comes out. I mean, it kind of goes without saying I'm gonna play this, but it's a Korean MMO. So I'm sure that costume probably costs like $35 and it gives you like 10% more like main stat. That's like a store uh, magic effect and it's uh, $15 and you can only get it through the battle pass. Uh, in order to have the item level to queue into this boss fight, you have to spend roughly $700. And that sword's an in-game model, and there's only one in-game model of two-handed swords, and that's it. Yeah. I mean, like, that game looked fucking badass. I already said it looked badass. Everybody fucking, like, I mean, like, let's be real. Is this a new one? I hadn't seen this one before. This is the Wukong. This is the one I feel like I'm most excited for because it's just like it's I've never actually like, I, you know, everybody grew up watching Dragon Ball Z. Not everybody, but a lot of people did. I did. And like Dragon Ball Z was like made off of this. So I'm really kind of curious to see what this game's going to be. This is the Wukong Black Myth. Actually, I have not seen this trailer before. Like, the combat for this looks really good. What the fuck? Damn! <laughs> so you can take the forms of different things. Okay. Damn. Music sounds good? Yeah. I just hope this is like China's version of Elden Ring, man. That's all I'm hoping for. I would be so happy if that's what it was. I would love to play that. I, I really, really hope this one's going to be good. The boss fights look interesting. The combat looks like it's actually good. I love staff combat. It's not open world. I mean, it's about quality, not necessarily the exact same as Elden Ring. You know what I mean? Dang, I'm hitting them right in the ankles. That's cool. What the fuck? Oh, it's a Minotaur. Holy fuck. I'm gonna show combat for this too? Be strong like a bull. Okay. Black Myth Wukong. I'm very excited for this. I don't know if they have a release date yet or not. the fuck? Nazrilath, the fallen world. This is like Dark Souls 3 cinematic at the beginning. So is this. This is the Abyss Watchers. That one's new. This is compelling. This looks promising. This looks very promising. I like this a lot. Okay.
You're gonna resurrect them? Oh shit. I'm gonna be honest, like, that's fucking badass. Like, this is some, like, fucking, like, this is, like, some ghost concert shit. I love it. What's the combat like? It's not even combat. That's like some cinematic. Yeah, they, these guys definitely played Dark Souls 3. Yeah. Like, basically every fucking uh, setting in this entire area, almost every single one is a parallel to something in Dark Souls 3. No gameplay? There's like five seconds of gameplay, but yeah. This is really cool. I hope this is a good game. I'm really excited about that one. I like it a lot. Project M, battle prototype, what's this? Is that Dragoon? That's good, you just cut right through the combat. Smart. Well. Predator? Shit. There's no way, it's not a gameplay, is it? Hit it. Okay. I wish that they had the uh, optimization down a little bit more because, like, honestly, like, let's let's be real. Like, it it, it doesn't look good if it's like 15 FPS. You know what I mean? Uh, also, like. I, I think that, like, these games are okay, but so many of them are, like, you have to play so close up. Like, I feel like as long as you can zoom out, it's okay. Like, I don't like playing this close up. Sick armor, though? Yeah. All right, what's his boss? Did you just carry this dude? He goes right for the dick. God damn. Okay. Okay. This is pretty cool. Okay. Looks great. Yeah. Can you hear me? What the hell is this? I think I've seen this before. Chaos. Madness. Death. And there might be no going back. Bloodborne? I don't know about Bloodborne. But you can change Ooh. that. It depends on what choice you make. Truth. Or lie. I remember this, yeah, because I thought that shit was cool. Yeah. the cyberpunk style of it i think it's cool with this kind of stuff like to me it's all about the gameplay with the, with this like this isn't my favorite aesthetic for games to have but if the gameplay is good or sorry not i mean steampunk that's my bad steampunk yeah steampunk aesthetic of this uh it, it's not my favorite but like if it's good then i'm down for it Was that him in the future? Son. No, it's his dad, okay. The stage is set. <laughs> the light shines brightest in the darkest of times. Alright, buddy, I'm here for you. Don't worry. Oh, 
Okay. I'm gonna be honest, like, out of all these games, besides the Wukong game, I feel like the combat is actually pretty good. Like, it's probably better than all the other games, I would say. Boss fights are cool too. Protect. Fulfill. Your destiny. Very cool. Yeah, this game actually might be one that's worth playing. It's kind of like a uh, You know what it kind of reminded me a little bit of is the um Reminded me a bit of the that Star Wars game, The Fallen Order. Because like I'm not a big Star Wars game fan. But I saw that game and that combat, and I was like, man, I've got to play this. This is fucking badass. Yeah, it, it, it's like I wouldn't naturally be a fan of it, but just seeing it, what the hell is this? God, why does it got bunny ears on? That's not what I would be wearing if I was walking around with a... A literal fucking tomb or a coffin. Why not? Yeah, good point. Was it Frankenstein? Okay. Very interesting premise. I like it. Up in the box, liar. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, 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 get in the box. I've never seen this. Wu Chang Fallen Feathers. Yup. It's like those things in Dark Souls 3. The crawly boys that fall down out of the ceiling. This is cool. Well... Oh, wait, 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 I accidentally put, uh, I clicked the wrong one. Um, well, that didn't fucking tell me anything, bro. Like, this is like, like, what is, what does this even mean? I have no idea. But either way, I mean, like, this looks cool. I mean, it just depends. Like, I mean, there's no gameplay with this. What are you supposed to expect it to do? Like, Chinese Dark Souls? I don't give a fuck. Like, y'all know, like, y'all know Dark Souls made by people in Japan, right? Like... It's not like some American company made Dark Souls. Like, every, like oh, it's Asian Dark Souls. It's like, bruh. <laughs> I got some news for you. So, yeah, I mean, Japan ain't China. No, it's not. You're right. I mean, and, and it could be different. Big difference? Yeah, it's just people. I, I don't know. To me, if the gameplay is good, I don't give a fuck where it's from. They could have made this shit in Madagascar, in Sweden, in Japan. They could have made it in Korea or in, I don't know, in Mississippi, in Peru. If it's a good game, we're going to play it. I don't give a fuck. So that's all that matters to me. Yeah, in Ohio. Yeah, any game that's good, we play it. It's that simple. I need to play more games overall. 
And I, I think like playing through these would be pretty fun. I wonder if any of these have released yet. I wish they would say uh, when they when they actually release. I'd have to look up each one of them individually uh, and see. But uh, let me go ahead and link it to you guys right now. Y'all can take a look at it. Yeah, Columbus, Ohio. I don't fucking know. Like, I don't know where that is. Like, I never learned the states. Like, where each state is. I know where California is. I know where Texas is. I know where Florida is. And the one above Texas, I think it's Oklahoma. Oh, and then the one above Florida is Georgia. And that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, I, I have no idea. Like, where's Wyoming? I don't know. Literally no idea. Korea, Washington, New York? No idea. I think it's next to, like, one of those water things. Uh, that's it. Yeah, because no, cause everybody said, like, you're going to have to know this. So I said, why? I got a map. I have a map. You just look it up. Like, what? Do, why would I ever need to like to know where it is? Like, why would I need to know this? And uh, yeah, I don't know what any of the capitals are, or any of that, man. Do you know where the other countries are? Uh some of them. Yeah, I mean, not all of them, but yeah, some of them. Uh, just look up Google. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, map burns. Now what? Well, it wouldn't burn because it, it it's digital. You, so it would get deleted, but it wouldn't get deleted because it's backed up on the cloud. So it wouldn't have gotten deleted because so that wouldn't have happened. So it's like a situation that doesn't exist. And like, let's be real. I, I mean, can we just fucking a solar flare? But I'm going to tell you all a fact. Where Wyoming is, is going to be the least of my problems if there's a solar flare. I promise you that. Yeah, I'm like that's not gonna be a problem at all. I'm not gonna need to know where the fuck. Like, oh, where is uh, you know, some random ass country? I have no idea. Solar flares happen all the time. Yeah, but a big one. I'm saying that. That's a big one. That'd be totally different. And uh, just finished my immortal build in Elden Ring. I need to play Elden Ring some more, man. I need to get into that. But uh, yeah, it teaches you to say that you won't have a calculator in your pockets. Yeah, well, I I always knew they were fucking stupid. Like the thing is. They would t teachers would always tell you, oh, you're going to need to learn how to spell. I said, no, I'm not. They already have this in Microsoft Word. Like, you just right click and like, you just have to guess. It it'll tell you what the word that you're trying to type is. Like, I never, yeah, spell check. Like, don't you know this? Like, can't you use a computer? Like, what are you, stupid? A and yeah, they just couldn't understand. Hooked on phonics. No, I, I never got that. I think maybe my mom got that for me. I don't know. Now, I told them that, uh, did you have to learn cursive? Everybody else in my class did. I didn't. I said, look at it, look at a billboard. You ever seen one of those in cursive? No. Look at a textbook. Are those in cursive? No. Sounds like I don't need to know it. Yeah, shit doesn't work. Yeah, and I never did. Because it's like, I told them, I'm like, they're not going to fail me out of school. Like, it's like, I was like third grade, right? I'm like, they're not going to fail me out of school because I don't know how to do like the squiggly, the squiggly writing, right? I mean, I'm not going to fail school because of this. And, uh, you know, that's what my dad told me too. And so I just said, fuck it. Like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to learn it. That's it. Science is name with the calligraphy. No, I, I do. Uh, I, I do sign my name in cursive. Yeah. Because I learned how to do that. But that's it. Well, as one said, fuck cursive. Yeah, I did. I. There were a lot of things in school where, like, I just tactically avoided them. 